two very different environments to look at, but there could be more similarities than you think between Mount Everest and an intensive care unit. In fact, how people cope in extreme conditions could help doctors understand more about critical illness. One in five of us will end up in intensive care at some point in our life. Of those, 40% will die. Now doctors want to better understand why some people survive and others don't. The world's highest mountain is the perfect simulator. Doctors can observe how different people respond to high altitudes and a lack of oxygen, which is a common problem for patients in intensive care units. In 2007, doctors travelled to Everest to perform tests on themselves in what's known as the death zone, as there's just enough oxygen. The key differences we identified last time were that the very smallest blood vessels, so the capillaries and the very, very small arteries and veins, seem to change their function at altitude. And, and, and how that differs between people is one of the reasons why some people do well and some people do badly. This time round, volunteers will be looking into why Sherpas cope well at high altitudes and comparing them with people from the UK and the United States. We know that some people adapt well and some people adapt poorly to hypoxia. And what we want to do is, is firstly identify them, so develop diagnostic tests so we can focus treatment on the patients who are going to adapt less well. And secondly, develop uh, interventions, so perhaps new drugs, that allow those patients uh, who are adapting less well to adapt better. Scientists from around the world will be paying close attention to this project, fully aware this research could drastically change patients' care over the next 10 years. The end result, giving patients a better chance of survival. Danny Sinha, BBC South Today.